is a lot of wood. Hello people, my name is Fox and welcome to the updated Pokemon collection. I am not going to talk too much as an introduction, I just kind of want to get into the Pokemon cards and everything, but I do just want to quickly mention my Snups account one more time because I am a cheap whore who needs a plug. I put my collections of stuff on it. Go follow me. I need attention. Mama never loved me. Um, so just like the dice video, I am going to pretend I never did a Pokemon collection video. I do not want to start saying you've seen this before. I showed this in the last video. I want everything to be fresh and new. So I have a lot of binders. I have one giant box that has the commons and the commons, and we're going to start with that first. So here we go. Let me see if I can frame this right. God knows I ain't no friggin' filmmaker. Hold on. Yay! All right, so this is my box of commons and uncommons, and you will notice that it's very small. Uh, granted, this is called a monster box, I think by B BCW or something. Uh, but it is fairly small compared to what I used to have. Reason being is because I traded a lot of my commons and uncommons to Dirium CCGs for the evolutions, and I forgot the other set I got, the one that this comes from, because I have a lot of them. Uh, yeah, so they, they did a trade a while ago, and I was able to trade a lot of commons and uncommons for two booster boxes, and those are interesting videos to make, so I don't have too much. Uh, this section holds my original base set uh, commons and uncommons, and I'm currently getting a binder to put these in. I just need more pages, so not really much to see here. It's just uh, really older border sets, or I should say the older border cards from the older sets. Uh, they're all my original cards, so I do want to put them in a binder. They don't really have any monetary value per se. It's just kind of like sentimental value. And then the Japanese stuff, which is still some, some fairly older original stuff that I have. And some newer stuff that I just happened to come across. Uh, probably going to put those in the binder as well. But for the meantime, they're in a box. There's no organization to this box at all past this. These are all just a mix of trainers, energies, and reverse foil commons and uncommons and regular commons and uncommons. Again, there's not really much to see. Fucking wishy-washy can go over there. There's really not much to see here. I love Stuffle. Uh, it's commons and uncommons. This is the stuff that really people do not like or care about. And the occasional energy. Hey, look. Is that a new base set energy? Yeah, it's a new one. You can tell by the little thing here. Base sets don't have that. Uh, is there any like cool foils in here? Got a derpy looking fucking Pikachu there. That's interesting, I guess. That's probably the least interesting stuff. It's why I started with it first. There's really not much to see here. The way I... Uh, organize my binders is like so I have a ultra pro binder another ultra pro binder a third ultra pro binder and a fourth ultra pro binder magic edition and I label them uh, so I have electric fire steel water psychic fight dark fairy other things just some other random stuff and colorless grass and dragon these contain all my reverse foil and holographic cards and I did binder my reverse foil cards. I also bindered my rares, which is this big fucking thing right here, which I will show later. Uh, but let's start off with these binders. This is just going to show you all the foils and reverse foils I've accumulated. I've had so many that I did consider just throwing them in a box. I opted against that. Hey, my old logo, I turned into a sticker. So Smeargle is my favorite Pokemon. Let's just get that out of the way now. This guy rules. I love him. I wish I had a page of them, but I don't. Uh, yeah, I just decided to, to binder the reverse foils too, because often I have the foil version and the reverse foil version of the same card, and it's just easier to kind of put them next to each other or on top of each other. Uh, I have been told my binders probably are worth a lot of money. Uh, if that's true, awesome. If not, it's fine. I just got a bunch of random stuff. You can see the reflection of my shitty lamp that I never use. Uh, so yeah, I got colorless, some grass. This is an interesting card. I have a bigger version, I'll show you soon, that I got like a buy a I think it was a buy a box promo that I just bought off eBay a long time ago. Probably, I'm probably not going to talk too much. I kind of just want to show you like the plethora of cards that I have. I have a lot. Hey, Dark Celebi. That card's actually worth, I think, like $4. I don't know. There isn't anything major in this binders. Oh, these should not be here. Um, so these three actually go into a different binder over here. Yes, it has regular show characters on it. I like painting that kind of shit. And these contain all my older foils and Japanese foils. So those are going to get relocated there later. I made a small mistake. As you can see, I keep a lot of space between each color division. Uh, reason being is because I still do open Pokemon. And when I get more, at least I have spaces to put the foils and the reverse foils. 
And we got dragons. I do like the full art or half art uh, reverse foils because they still look fairly foil. Although you can tell the difference between an actual full art foil and a non full art foil. And those are just extra sleeves. These are sleeves I use for like rare cards, uh, like the ones in this binder over here. All right, and that was my Colors Grass and Dragon set. Thank God I got a table over there to put all the stuff in. Uh, this is an Ultra Pro leather binder. They don't sell them anymore, I don't think, or they sell a better version. Either way, they're not that great. They kind of break easy, which is why I keep collections in them, because I don't pour, I don't like take them, take them with me wherever I go. They can just kind of stay on a shelf and not break so easily. My page of Lucario's. Wait, there's more. More Lucario's. And then Snow Terrakion, which is probably my favorite Terrakion art ever. Snow! Alright. Yep, fighting. More fighting. A lot of Delta Species stuff. Which I show friends, and they never knew existed. Uh, Delta Species was like an older set. I think from you know, like the original EX series, where they would put Pokemon in... Uh, the opposite color of what they usually are. So I, I even have in the fire section, you'll see a Charizard, or sorry, the electric section, a Charizard that is electric type. It's an interesting thing. You see, extra space for the divisions, so I can add more stuff. Uh, we're on to dark. Oh, so this is a full art, and I'm pretty sure this is a reverse, no, this is a foil. So I'll see if I have a reverse foil, I can kind of show you what I mean. I'm hoping I have one in the, in the dark section. Oh, this is a new thing. I didn't know where to put this, so I just put it in the dark section. It's a... Uh, I don't know what they call them. I've been calling them... Uh, uh, what, what do they call them in Magic? Hybrid? Yeah, hybrid types. Uh, and I don't really know what else to call them. I think I have a reverse foil. Yeah, here. So here's a reverse foil Azumarill, and here's a regular foil Malamar. They're both like half full arts, but you can clearly tell which one's reverse and which one's normal foil. I think they did that really well, and I, I kind of, I don't know if they still do it, I don't believe so, but I really would like it if they kept doing it. And as you can see, I'm a big stickler for organization. You know, past that giant box of commas and commas, there's no organization there. Fairies! We're on the fairies. I do like that the uh, Evolutions Clefairy was errata to be a fairy type. Uh, Alright, so this is... This also contains just some random sets that I really can't put anywhere else. Uh, like foil trainers and energy. Actually, that foil energy might be a promo I could put somewhere. Uh, extra sleeves. So these are Pokemon Rumble. I don't know how many of you remember Pokemon Rumble. It wasn't good, but the board game came with a bunch of cards. So uh, Pokemon Rumble was a board game where you could play as Pokemon. I don't really remember the point of it. It wasn't good, but, you know, it had cards. And these are all the cards. And the Pokemon look like pop vinyls, which is probably why I hate it. Uh, Arceus set. Again, just, I can't, I don't want to divide them by color. I certainly want to keep them together. So I just kind of put them all in one, like, set. Oh, and the uh, foreign Pikachu collection, which is Pikachu in all different languages, uh, including English, which is the top left. So Pokemon says, uh, Pikachu says hello, and then Thunderbolt, and then every other Pikachu art is also saying hello and Thunderbolt. There you go, I don't remember. I don't know how many of you remember those. It was like a box set that came out. Water Psychic! And yes, I do draw on my binders. Alright, so get over it. I drew that. I like Yoshi. Piss off. What is that? Getsomegame.com I don't remember where I got that sticker. It might have been just a small card purchase. Don't remember. Manaphies! Look at all those Manaphies. I'm probably like just going too quickly and people are like missing cards that they probably really liked as a kid. Remember e-readers? I'm really happy I didn't actually use those cards in e-readers because it would damage the fuck out of them. Uh, yeah, there's not really much to say. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the concept of putting foils and reverse foils in the same binder. If you think it's a bad idea. Uh, if you think color sorting's better. If you like these like side load pages or do you like top load pages better because they're easy to replace. Uh, let, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, guys. Ooksie. Oh, remember this Ooksie? I have a bunch of promo. Actually, like two. I have uh, two pop promo Ooksies. These were so good when I was playing Pokemon. The fact that you could just bring it out and refresh your hand was just a great effect. They're too. Ex they're really expensive, too. Too expensive. I kind of wish I had more Gengars. I don't have a lot of Gengars. Wish I did. Look, Muse. This one's pretty rare. This is from a P.O.P. Force set, I believe. Be very careful with it. it. It probably should be in a sleeve. Do I have sleeves on me? Why don't I have sleeves on me? Oh, there, wait, there's sleeves back here. This is why I put these here. 
for this exact situation. There probably is some other cards that need to be sleeved, and I know everyone probably just heard the corner crack a little. <laughs> oh god, I'm awful at this. Uh, yeah, that Mew is from Pop 4. Uh, that is from some newer set. And here is Evolution's Mew. Yeah, I got a few of these. I got two foils and a reverse foil one. Love the art on that. I think it's originally a promo, and I'm pretty sure I have that promo, and you'll see it soon. More Psychic. This Magius, another fo another Pokemon that's a fave of mine. I almost said Pokemon. Pokemon. Yep. There's, again, there's not really much to say. More Delta Species. Reverse Mewtwo. I think in Evolutions, that Mewtwo only comes as a rare or reverse. You have to buy the uh, the intro deck to get the foil Mew. Mimikyu, probably one of my most favorite Pokemon of the current generation. If it is even of the current generation. I don't know if there are new ones. I don't really keep up with Pokemon. Last binder for the foils and reverse foils. Look, Pikachu, there's the Charizard I was talking about. Why is that not in a sleeve? Also, here are the My Little Pony stickers that I tried to scrape off this thing because of embarrassment. We're just going to go ahead and not acknowledge that at all. Uh, Raichu's, which as a random fact, I, I happen to know it's Aaron Hansen's favorite Pokemon. Don't know why I know that. I think I heard him say it one time and it just stuck in my head. And every time I think of Raichu, I think of that. The brain is weird like that. Electric, Luxray. Yeah, I'm not really naming the Pokemon. There's too many to name. That the Dende is fucking adorable. I think it's a common. No, it's an uncommon, but it's in there because it's a foil and it's cute. Don't don't patronize me, okay? There is the Charizards. This is a Mew, which I'm very happy it's sleeved. Um, fun fact about this Mew, in case you didn't know, it's a misprint. All of these Mews are a misprint. They uh, printed the Pokeball upside down. It's just one of the many many mistakes Pokemon has made. Many mistakes. Many. All right, I'm gonna move on from that. Uh, more Delta species Salamence and Cedra as a fire type. That's weird, right? Why would they be fire type? Because Delta species is a thing. Uh, Reshram Rams? Reshram Rams, Jesus. Another Charizard. Weirdly, this one also isn't uncommon. It's from the Japanese, like, shiny set. I forgot the name of it. But, uh, yeah, they're all uncommons, uh, despite the fact that they're also foils. Metal! Metal Pokemon. Nidoqueen, which, even, like, as a Delta species, that makes sense, but I could, I could totally see Nidoqueen as being a metal type. I was always, that, it's a Delta species, yeah, but it, it kind of makes sense. The best Pokemon card ever made, Doug Trio with hair, it's just Fabio Trio. I don't even know why they still printed Pokemon. You guys reached your epitome after that. There's no, there's no reason to reprint them anymore. Uh, this Jirachi, I always loved. I love the art style of that. I think I'm... I don't know why, but the, the set Crystal Guardians just came to me. That might be the set it's from. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, Crystal Guardians is one of the older EX sets. And that's the foil sets. The foil and the reverses. Uh, let's move on to promos. I know you guys want to see Ultra Rare. So, I have retooled my Z Folios. I used to carry these around for my Magic, uh, collection. And yes, that is Mickey with a condom. My friend put that there. Don't ask why I have that. And Vans Off The Wall has stickers every time you buy their shoes. So I put that there. Death Wish Coffee. I will proudly put that on a binder, though. Death Wish, Death Wish Coffee is awesome. Uh, it's really, really kind of bitter. But it's awesome. Uh, promos, as it says right here. Look, I put tape on the binder. I are smart. Uh, yeah, I used to have my magic stuff in here. I have retooled that into a smaller binder to bring with me because I don't want to carry around so much stuff. Uh, but let's get on with this. Oh, I forgot to show you the older stuff. I'll show you that after. So promos. I have a lot of movie promos, and I have all sealed as well. So I have one. Each one is open. By the way, yes, these are next to the one that are in here. It's hard to get to see them, but like if I were to like maneuver this around, you would see this is a Dragonite. Uh, I have one of each. So I have a Pikachu, I have an Electabuzz, a Mewtwo, and a Dragonite, all sealed with the card. This right here is the card that comes in it. So if you want to see what it looks like in the back, that's what it looks like. I don't know why that's interesting, but I, I thought it was. And I have a, an extra Mewtwo for some reason. Yeah, these are from the first movie. Uh, just I have a lot of fond memories of going to that first movie. Uh, going there, getting all the cards, my dad getting some extra cards as well. And then we went to Burger King, and I don't know why that was important. Oh, because Burger King had the toys, right. So we got the cards, and then we went to Burger King, and got. I remember getting like the little plush Meowth. I wish I still had that. I keep pretty much everything, but for some reason I couldn't keep like my original toys. Uh, here's the Mew I was talking about. Uh, I don't remember where the promo's from, but there it is. That Meowth is from a box of fruit roll-ups. Just a neat little fact. Ancient Mew, and then some other stuff. I don't really know where most of these come from. 
to be honest with you, Cool Porygon, I think, was a cereal box include? I'm not completely sure. And I got this Rapidash. It's a promo. Yeah, some of these I know where they come from, but for the most part, I don't. I only know this comes from a Fruit Roll-Up box, because this is original. I, I pulled that out of a Fruit roll ups box myself, people. Uh, oh, Birthday Pikachu, then you got the Flying Surfing Pikachu original, not the reprints. Uh, the uh, Legendary Birds, I have two of Moltres and Zapdos, and one Articuno. I don't know why I'm moving the thing around. Oh, this is from Game Boy. This is from the Game Boy game. I actually do have the Game Boy game, the original Pokemon trading card game. Only the North American release, but it's still fun. It is still fun to play that. Because there aren't a lot of cards, so you don't have to you know, break your head with how to play the friggin' game. Uh, I wish I could move my camera up a little more so I can get these corners, but <laughs> it's as high as it goes, guys. Sorry. Uh, uh, Team Rocket's Meowth. There's a Smeargle. Love Smeargle, as aforementioned. Uh, again, I don't know where any of these come from. I don't know what these come from as well. These are Wizards of the Coast stamped cards. It's a little stamp right there. Don't know where they come from. Don't know where the Rocket Mewtwo come from. It has Winner on it, because he's a winner. That's obviously from the 10th anniversary, because it says it on it. And this is from a Regionals... Where is this one from? Yeah, Regional Championship. And then you got your Winner's Rocket Sneasel in the corner over there. I'm not mentioning every card, but I'll mention like some that are interesting. So these, for the most part, I picked up myself. These are just like 10 promos. But these are all from uh, going to regionals or state championships or uh, battle roads, I believe is what they used to call it. Uh, they would give you random promos. I like Deli Bird, even though it's not really good or worth anything. I just like the art on it. Uh, some of them say on it, like these two actually are if you won a league championship, I believe. And I got like second place when I was still playing Pokemon at the time. These are from city championships, as is this one. This one is from a state championship. It's like really small, but you can kind of see state, or uh, province, territory. Yeah, some of them are marked, some of them just have the POP logo, but... They're all from something. Uh, pre-release promos. I haven't gone to a Pokemon pre-release in so long. But whatever uh, promos I have, I always sleeved up and, and collected. Went to a couple Dragon's Exalted pre-releases, as you can probably tell. Uh, which one's my favorite? Probably Hargold So Silver. Yeah, that might be my fave. I don't think that was my first. I think Triumphant might... No. What was the first pre-release I went to? I used to remember this. Oh, shit. It might be Undaunted. It's either Triumphant or Undaunted. I'm not really sure. Whichever one came first, which I'm pretty sure... It, well, Hargo So Silver came first. Wow, I don't remember. I, I just really don't remember, guys. Sorry. Either I picked... I might have picked this Pichu, this Pichu up, like, offhand. Not at a pre-release, though. So if that's true, then it would be Undaunted. Probably Undaunted was my first pre-release, which kick-started this whole Pokemon channel thing. Uh, Misty Seedra pre-release over here. Some Platinum. I'm pretty sure from Burger King. Uh, oh, P.O.P. promo. So I have a lot of these, and I decided to, like, lay them out nicely, like, in play sets and things like that. Yeah, when I, when I was uh, still in the league, I'm stuttering. When I was still in the league, uh, they used to give you promos, I think, every month or every two months or so. And some of them are really good. Like, that Clay Doll was really, really good at the time. Spirit Tomb were really, really good. Dialga. Watch Dogs, uh, around the time, like, I quit, they were giving me, like, pretty crappy ones. See, Ooxies, these were goddamn great. Azelfs were just as good, too. Uh, Empoleon and Milotic, they were they were really good. Warp points were really good. SP radars. When they give you trainers, they were usually good too. They had a lot of baby searches. Who remembers babysearch.com? Is that still a thing? I have no clue. Uh, BTS, Broken Time Space. When these came out, these were really really important. Uh, ends. I think this is still played, so I think these might be worth something. Uh, Eviolites. I think Eviolites are probably the newest ones I got next to Colrus. Yeah, Colrus's. Uh, Enhance Hammer. I think these were the last ones I ever picked up. Catchers and you know all this stuff. Double colorless set, which I think is legal, so I'm sure these are probably worth something. Rainbow energy sets. I don't even know if these are promos. I just have them in here because they look nice with the other energies. Uh, and then I got, like, these are my favorite of all time. I just wish I picked up more of them for decks back in the day. Uh, they're the, uh, I think, Undaunt, no. One of the, like, the reprint sets, but these are the promo versions of them. They have like the Pokemon, uh, mani uh, not mannequin, sorry, the Pokemon shadows in the background. Uh, some standard POP energies, some original uh, POP energies. POP meaning Pokemon organized play. Some newer POP energies. I have a lot of these fighting energies in that box over there. I'm probably going to lay out. Oh, so I put these in here. Uh, these are vending series. 
uh, in Japan, so I'm sure I'm pretty sure they're called vending series. They came in like these little snappable packs where you could snap the cards off. And from my understanding, they're very rare. They're uh, pretty hard to get a whole collection of. I don't have the collection. I just have a couple of them. I think these Mewtwo's are worth a good amount, but uh, they're very interesting to look at. The art's really cool. Some of them was reprinted in American sets. Like I know for a fact that Cubone and that Pikachu were reprinted. Um, some of them obviously weren't, like that Snorlax. I don't believe this Shelter was ever reprinted. Uh, I think that Mewtwo was. This one I never saw a reprint of. Um, so yeah, they're really, really cool. I got a couple more over here. Uh, these are some more Japanese promo. Neo. Uh, Japanese Mewtwo, I think is a promo. I'm not really sure. I just put it in there to be safe. And that might be it. Oh no, we got more. Oh yeah. Oh, so this is the uh, page of random cards that were banned in America. Uh, Misty's Determination, or no. Misty something. I forgot the full name of it. But people call it Naked Misty because she's basically nude. Holding a star you. Lucky star you. Middle finger Sabrina. Uh, some Imakuni cards. These are just weird, so they were never printed in America. And like some cool stuff. Original. Original Executor. Not the uh, Evolutions reprint. Red Cheeks Pikachu. Here he is. I mentioned this earlier. There's a neat little Red Cheeks Pikachu. And that is that for that binder. Oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot these were back here. Hey, you guys remember when I used to do uh, top 10 uses for Spinda, which I'm pretty sure the videos are demonetized because they're using copyright music? There's the top 10... Hey, you can see my Red Hot Chili Pepper shirt. There are uh, two of them, the top 10 uses for Spinda. Well, there's this one. This one was from Shaman 1991 when she was a YouTuber. She's not a YouTuber anymore, but uh, she sent me this in the mail, uh, taped to something. <laughs> um, that was really funny. And uh, this was a Spinda I was going to do a video with, and I just never did, and uh, I got lazy. Did not show you this, I failed to. Like I said before, this is, yeah, regular show, I know, shut up. This is the older foils and Japanese foils that I decided to put in a separate binder. Uh, I'm probably going to get top load pages and put them into a better binder later. But until I do that, they are here. Charizards, base set Charizards, base set two Charizards as well. Everyone loves base set Charizard. Base set Blastoise with a base set two Blastoise. Uh, I think green is coming up. I do have a Venusaur. I only have a one Venusaur, though. Yeah, base set two Venusaur. I don't know what happened to my original base set Venusaur. Probably ate it. I don't know. I was a dumb kid. I used to eat a lot of stuff. Mostly food, but every now and then Pokemon cards. Uh, this Dragonite's rare. It's like $25. Uh, I don't know what it's from. I just know it's an e-reader promo, and thank God whoever I got it from did not put it in an e-reader. I'm not joking when I say that. Like, e-readers were shitty. <laughs> you would you would swipe a card into, like, your, I think, Game Boy Advance, and uh, it was supposed to go into a game or something, and they just... They would destroy the card, first off, because you're literally, like, swiping it into something. Hey, Dark. Look, original uh, Dark Umbreon when it first came out. Probably one of the best Umbreon arts I've ever seen. That moon just makes the, the popping blue and the black effect just really looks cool. Uh, and there's another Umbreon, a rare version. Good art still, but this one's better. Oh uh, yeah, e-readers were awful. Uh, if you ever get your hands on one, I don't suggest actually swiping a Pokemon card. That, hey, Binding of Isaac. Remember when that game came out, I was really happy with it. Let's go to rares. We're actually surprisingly almost done. Like, the biggest part were the uh, foils and the reverse foil. Yes, I did decide to... Uh, uh, organize and put all rares into a binder. Now, some people might think I'm stupid. Let's move on. So, I'm not gonna go through every page. These are rares, guys. They're, like, some people like them, some people don't. Hey, look, a hybrid card. I'm just gonna kinda show, like, they're segmented by color. So you got your grass, you got your water. I don't know why I decided to put rares in a page. I also don't know why I decided showing them off would be a good idea. It'd probably be easier just to storm in a box somewhere, but nope. My dumbass took, I think this took about six hours to uh, organize and put into a binder. Actually, some of them are rare. Like that Dark Tyranitar, well, they are rare. Some of them are valuable, like that Dark Tyranitar. Really wish I brought something with me to drink. Be right back. I have Arizona. I'm good. Locarios, more Locarios. Surprisingly, I didn't have many electric. I didn't have many electric rares. I did tend to notice I get a few fewer amounts of electric rares than I got anything else. Oh, of course, like Dragon and Dark, which are pretty rare to come by too. <laughs> get it? Rare. All right. Fairy. Not a lot of fairies. Xerneas. I think that was good when it came out. 
Uh, Dark Marowak. Uh, what's... I have one in here that's actually worth something. I think. Probably wrong. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. Yeah, rares. I know... Hey, Registeel. I know older rares are probably worth... Probably more than, like, standard ones, but... There you go. And I put a little note thing on that. Rares! I have said the word rare at least 40,000 times. Ultra rares! I've said it more. Uh, this contains EXs, Level Xs, Primes, uh, newer, e older EXs. You'll see. So, I did ask in the last, uh, I will, this is the only time I'll, I'll reference back to that older Pokemon collection video. Um, if I have every Level X, I don't. I'm missing a few. I'm actually missing, I know I'm missing a Leafeon Level X. Uh, and the reason is I gave that to a friend before I left. So, no, this is not a complete set of Level Xs. But it is a fairly large one. Uh, Level X is probably easily my favorite type of Ultra Rare. Just because it was the one that I uh, I started collecting when I first came into Pokemon. Uh, yeah, there are, they didn't print too many Level Xs. But they printed a fair amount and I don't have them all. Some older EXs before they uh, made the newer ones. Obviously, that should be implied. Uh, these are what I like to call the cute page. These are all from, I don't remember the name of the set, sorry, Legendary Collection, Legendary Treasures, I don't really remember. But it's like the cute ones, the cute Mews, the Sylveons, the other Sylveons, probably the best Flareon ever printed. Look at that, it's just adorable. Uh, some trainers, some Professor Junipers, which might be worth money, I'm not really sure. Skylar, I think I have an end in here. Or did I sell the end? I don't remember. Eh. Uh, Missy's Determination. Full art, pulled out on camera, pulled uh, bodybuilding dumbbells from a blister pack. That was pretty recent, so I remember that. Uh, Mewtwo EXs, those are awesome. Everything pretty much is sorted by color as well. So these are all my EXs, as well as some full arts that I just kind of want to put in there. Lucario full art, I remember asking every single friend I could if they had one that I could get. And uh, finally a friend decided to trade me one. I liked Lucario. I still do. Lucario rules. Yep, that's a lot of EXs. Some would say too many. There's one last one. And then we got the GXs, which are clever. It's like EXs, but with a G. Way to go, Pokemon. Uh, and Breaks, which uh, I guess you put over cards. So I got two Ninetales. The Glare probably is pretty shitty. A Xerneas and a Machamp Break. And uh, most of these are from the booster box that I opened, especially these two Gumshoe along with this. I call it Rainbow Ghost Rare. I think there is another name for it, but I prefer the word Rainbow Ghost Rare. Looks like he's singing and he just got into his like solo and he's proud of it and boom! Freddie Mercury shine. You go Gumshoe. Also, Donald Trump is another name for these cards. Uh, oh. A-Spec Trainers. Uh, Computer Search, which was reprinted from an older card. Uh, and I remember, I think you were allowed to use the older uh, computer searches. You were just allowed to only use one of them. Primes! I'm... I'm positive I have every Prime. Wait. Because there might be a promo I'm missing. I gotta take fluid. No, I, I'm pretty sure I have every Prime. If I'm missing a Prime, so help me God. <laughs> uh, yeah, Primes are from Heart Gold Soul Silver. They took the place of the reverse foil uh, s slot. And uh, they're really cool. I remember when I pulled my first one was a Meganium Prime. And I was really, really excited of that because my next pull was also a Red Gyarados. And that was a cool day. Uh, I have a Japanese Gengar Prime here, just for no reason. Yeah, I, I, I have to have all the Primes. I collected my, my ass off for those cards. I collected my ass off for those cards. I collected... Uh, I worked my ass off collecting those cards. There we go. I can form a, a sentence. I can structure a sentence. Jesus, my throat's killing me. Legendaries! Or not what they... What was they called? Yeah, Legends. Excuse me. Need to drink. This video's too long. Uh, yeah, I have all the Legends. I know for a fact I have all the legends. They only printed a couple of them. Well, nine, actually. Uh, Ho Ho, Lugia, Dialga Palkia, Rayquaza, Deoxys, Kyogre Groudon, Dark Red Cresselia, and then the legendary dogs, every combination of them. And then Alph Lithographs, which I love. I love these cards. Uh, Pokemon literally printed the alphabet in unknown form four times. They were secret rares. Really cool. Uh, the shiny collection from the Platinum sets. I'm pretty sure it's complete. The secret rares. From the other Platinum sets, I think. Yeah, Supreme Victors, Rising Rivals, and the other one. Majestic Dawn, I think. Uh, I don't know if this is complete. Uh, this I know is complete. Like, the Shinies are complete. This, I, I just have, like, secret rares. I don't know if there was a set of them. 
Uh, and then some random ones. These are uh, secret common uncommons, I guess, from Evolutions, Flying Pikachu and Makuni's Dudo. Uh, a misprint Zoroark. The misprint is up here. It should have two of those lines. Instead, it has three, but it's a shiny Zoroark, as well as a shiny Execute and Energy Retrieval. And then Red Gyarados to top it all off. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep. So I don't have too much left. I have a, a small binder and then a portfolio which has jumbo cards. But before I show that, I have this binder. I've had it for a long time. I still use it. I just thought it was neat to show off because it's a Pokemon binder. And also this one. Focus. There we go. Uh, which was a Heart Gold Soul Silver collection binder. So uh, they would give you a certain amount of pages and you would be able to put every copy of the card, the entire set, in here as you could tell. I actually did this because I checked off all the ones that I had. Uh, fun fact though, they screwed up. They gave me a one, two, three, four slot, and then the reverse is the four is the five, six, seven, eight. But they never gave me a nine, ten, eleven, twelve page. So I they gave me two 17, 18, 19, 20 pages, so I just made my own. So way to go, quality control back then for Pokemon. I could see it never change. I really wish they did this again. This was a neat idea. So this contains some Japanese stuff. Got the Tropical Island stuff. Hold on. I'm, I'm organized. I gotta find a better place for this. Got the Tropical Island stuff, all three of them. These are Japanese, they're really cool. They're just like a small, complete set. Then you got the Rainbow Island ones. And then we have the portfolios, which uh, in Japan they give out just as like special promotions. It's really cool, it's Lugia. This is the Neo one to introduce the new starters. So they gave you like the full sets of it. They got Feraligator, Typhlosion, and Meganium. And then uh, this one was for a movie, I think. Uh, it showed off the new evolutions of Eevee, uh, Entei, Pichu, Charizard, and then you got the Neo, the unknown spelling Neo. That was cool. This was the Buy Box promo I mentioned earlier. Uh, see, not great quality, but it was cool. I think I got off of eBay for like a buck. I burped, excuse me. These are Merrill. Uh, I had the Merrill in the promo binder, if you saw, but these are sealed. And then this is the little pamphlet opened, in case you care. It's got a neat little cute Pikachu. Pichu, excuse me. And I folded it wrong. Hey, Lugia. Hey, trainer. Start your own Pokemon journey. I've been there, done that, sir. And that was that binder. And then the last, the very last of the video, guys. I know, finally. I can stop talking. This is a small portfolio that I used to use when I went to school for graphic design. I don't use it anymore, so I repurposed it to hold jumbo cards. Last night, I was looking for these, these jumbo cards. I thought I lost them. They were hiding behind a binder somewhere, and I was freaking out, and I gotta drink some. Ah, oh, thank God, liquids. I fucking require them. Um, so we got Entei. We have Pikachu, Charmander, and Psyduck having a ball, literally a ball. A giant Charizard. Uh, this is from the movie that a friend got me a long time ago. And the Zoroark to complement it. This was from a, a booster box. Uh, that Zoroark, not a booster box, sorry, a promo box. Back when jumbo cards weren't as common as they are now. Uh, this was from the second movie, I think. The one where the evil guy is in a blimp and... Uh, Oh, that's every Pokemon movie. I'm sorry. Charizard, Crocodile EX, Keldeo EX, Garchomp, Tyrantum, Tyrantrum, excuse me, Deoxys, Double Zoroark, uh, Glade, Rayquaza, eh, Tepig, Mewtwo EX, Primal Groudon, Metagross EX, that Metagross uh, is from that giant expensive Metagross box that I got on Black Friday, Primal Kyogre, Palkia, Flygon and Snorlax GX, probably my newest one. I uh, got a Gengar EX, Deontay EX, another box that was really expensive. Then I have a bunch of these Full Art Legends because I think I bought a lot of the uh, a lot of the boxes uh, that these came in when these first came out. Uh, Palkia, Darkrai, Cresselia, yeah. And that is it, guys. That completes my Pokemon collection. That's my name, in case you needed to know. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Again, if you want to see pictures of collections that I have, check out my Snups account. I need to go drink 80 pots of coffee to clear my throat. I will talk to you later. Bye now.